Have you ever seen a bite that violent? You ever seen anything like this before? Dead stick in the top water? Welcome to technical top water fishing, boys. You can't beat a top water bite. Oh god. <laughs> Did you see that? <laughs> Welcome to Mikey Balls Fishing. So what's one of the best ways to catch bass? One, one thousand, two. Punching, yeah, punching. We, we put up some epic punching videos this year. Punching is one of my favorites, but frankly, dude, when you can get a good topwater bite going, there is nothing like it and top water doesn't just mean one bait so what we're gonna do in this video today we're gonna fish a lot of top water baits we're gonna make some other things in but we're gonna talk about kind of using different top water baits and what kind of presentations that they offer because some top water baits are cast and reel some top water baits are a little more nuanced you walk them you pop them there's so many different ways and in some situations when the fish are really eating top water baits you need kind of an assortment of lures that that address that top like that top column but behave in different ways and we're really gonna get into to the nitty gritty details of how to catch these bass using probably one of the coolest techniques ever and that's top water fishing so hit that like and subscribe button everybody say hi to bog he's life jacket bog life jacket bog you like fish you want to catch some fish yes good bog hit that like and subscribe make sure to turn on your notifications and let's go smash them on top guys oh my god <laughs> Gotta be a bed right there. <laughs> oh. <laughs> How do you miss him? How do you miss him? Got her that time. Oh man, oh man. <laughs> oh, stay on, stay on. Oh, she got it in the side. That's what happened. She done made a mistake this time, boy. You gotta be real careful when they're like this, though, because they tend to get really, really violent. <laughs> Third time's a charm, boys. Third time's a charm. So this is really cool. Oftentimes you think you're just like throwing that top water over like open water, as you can see here, but the sun kind of gave us a little, a little trick, a little key, it revealed something to us. If you guys look straight down there, you see in that sun right there, there is a stump and literally that fish we just caught was sitting next to that stump and then there's a little bit of trees and a little bit of grass behind it but that's exactly what that fish was sitting on nothing coming out of the water nothing emergent but it is just a little piece of cover a little piece of structure in the water that they'll relate to and since they're so shallow they're looking up so you bring it over that stuff even though you can't see it's there kind of got to cover the shoreline some of it's emergent and you can see it but there's a lot of sneaky stuff that you actually can't see that's underwater that's holding fish Jeez, look at this. Is it a largemouth? That is a largemouth. <laughs> oh, that is so cool. That is so, so absolutely cool. We just smashed another, and this is probably an illustration of one of the coolest parts about this lake. Let me let her go. Oh, you gonna dance? Nope. That one came on a buzz bait, just like the other ones, or a top water kind of like reaction style bait. But that's a largemouth, dude. There's such an epic mixed bag fishery. There's even stripers in here, but big spots, crush it, largemouth crush it. Like you never know what's gonna be on the end of your line. This is, I'm so fired up. This is awesome. Oh gosh. Oh my gosh. Stay on there. Stay on there. Oh, golly. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. <laughs> Dude, did you see the way this fish ate that thing? I mean, annihilated it. 
That's a big old largemouth right there. <laughs> that fish knocked the skirt off my buzz bait. <laughs> I don't have any more of these either. So I gotta be a little careful. I wanna show you because it's always important to me to kind of like go through that learning process with you guys. So we're talking top water, top water smashes. Here's kind of the cool part. This water is moderately clear, not super clear, and it's still a little getting a little shade right here. That fish came right off the tip of that, that branch. There's more tangly stuff under there, but I'll tell you what, that fish was shallow. It was suspended up there. I never saw her. Like the water can be pretty clear. You can think you're seeing everything that's down there, and lo and behold, you're not. So let's get her released. Once again, the, the concept of a, a mixed bag fishery. Like, is that not the coolest? <laughs> a three pound largemouth. Come on, guys. Like, it doesn't get better than this. Let her go real quick. See you later, honey. That was awesome. Dude, she lit that thing up. I mean, just like top water fishing can be some of the most epic fishing you have ever seen in your life, especially when we're in spring. The water's not super hot. These fish are active, they're shallow, they want to chew. Got her. Big, big in. She ate it twice, dude. She come back and freaking closed the deal. That thing is in her mouth. In her mouth. Nice. Dude, that is such a magnum spot. Bob, Bob, look out. Those are treble hooks. Dude, you want to talk about closing the deal and eating it? Look at that. Like, dude, just annihilate it. Look out, Bob. We got to get this hook out of her real quick. Guys, look at that spot. I mean, smash, bang, boom. <laughs> Let her go. You know, guys, I always try to stop and show you kind of at least what's going through my head. I'm not saying it's right, but this is kind of the concept and the way we're using this top water. We're targeting a few things. You see, we got bushes, wood. There's also some shade right there. And then there's just access to the bank. So the concept is, one, we're targeting ambush points. So like that bush, that tree, um, that shade like patch right there where the trees are kind of hanging off. But then we're also trying to throw it kind of in like open spaces up on the bank because the, the idea is, especially with the spots, the largemouth in here are pretty aggressive because they live with the spots, but the fish can be on beds. And if you don't catch them, like they might blow up on the on the plug or something like that. But the thing is you locate them and you see like, oh, it's an open patch. She just blew it out of the water. That fish is probably on a bed and you can either go back and throw that top water back there or you can pick up a shaky head or something like that and pitch it in there and target right where that fish blew up. Because usually when they like, say for instance, I went and cast and missed a fish in that open pocket right there. If you miss them on the top water, like tied up to the bank or within like three or four feet of the bank, usually it means because they're on a bed because they're, they're thrashing at it. They're really not trying to eat it. They're just trying to kill it. Golly, <laughs> did you see that? <laughs> oh, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on, stay on. Did you see that? Holy gosh. Holy gosh. Spring top water, they said. It'll be fun. With you. Have you ever seen a bite that violent? We're gonna creep up because I wanna cast these. There's like seven fish in about a foot of water. And I think the trick is there's all these minnows swimming around. But I took that lucky crap gunfish. I don't know, you probably can't see them. There's still like three or four of them. I didn't even see the one we caught, but I kind of pitched it up in there because I had him chase a buzz bait out. I pitched a, like a little um, shake head to him. He won't even look at it. So I put that, that lucky crap in there, let it sit. Let it sit almost like a floating frog. Twitched it once, 
That joker slashed it, boy. Like, slashed it. That was... That was Okeechobee class top water bite right there. Super new. If you ever not like seen, if you haven't seen the super new video, go back and watch that. We're gonna let this thing go real quick because that was insane. And I want to try to catch another one. Dude, look at this thing. I mean, just a giant. I actually thought it was. Oh, you don't want to go, do you? I actually thought it was um a large mouth when I when she ate it because she she darted over out of such shallow water. But dude, <laughs> magnum spots. You don't gotta go to Lanier for Magnum Spots. You should though. Lanier's awesome. Look at that thing. Guys, I mean that is, this is insane. That bait, this fish. <laughs> Grab your top water baits, have some different ones, and get after it. We're gonna get back after these. Jesus. Oh my god. Dude, did you see that? He came right out of that bush. Oh my god. Dude absolutely annihilated it. Got him, got him. Got him, got him. Dude, I saw him under there way back. <laughs> dude, he's sitting back there, dude. There's all, like six of them and I left them to come back. And there's another like two giants right here. But we got her, she chewed it that time. I literally saw her under the thing. Come here. Literally, dude, like I've casted this fish like three or four times. I saw her under the bait, just not committing. So I kind of fished it like a frog and uh, just let it sit there and then walk it a couple times. But dude, just like, I mean, come on. Who doesn't love that? Let's let her go real quick. So I'm gonna tell you the crazy part. There's a school of them back there, like five or six. We left them for a minute, we come back and I can see them under the bait just staring at it. And I'm just twitching really slow. There is some giants right in here that I cannot get to buy. But dude, we won't eat anything but that top water. We might try a little wacky rig or something, mix it up, but top water spring smash. Got him, got him. Oh, that's a big one, stay out of there. Stay out of there. <laughs> oh, dear. Get over here. Oh, dear, don't open up the hooks. Come here. Dude, that's, oh, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. Right. Dude, I, I've been trying to catch this fish for a while, boy. There's like three or four of them stuck on this tree. And like, I saw the, the, um, the herring kind of blow up and lo and behold like pitched it in there really quick and she um she must have just turned on it though she really didn't even get it that's nuts she literally ate it dead sticking i saw like a little herring flick way back next to that tree in the shade and i flicked my bait in there i've missed these fish. there's probably like four or five of them and there's like two that are big big i didn't catch the big big one but literally got my you know my bait right on the bank and just let it sit and she came over and slashed it dude let's let's get her back real quick because we might be able to catch a few more out of here that was awesome i mean look at that that is a monster spot <laughs> oh God, I, I get so fired up dude you can't beat a top water bite you can't like spring these fish are so active they're so just aggressive and when you get them in the right place, they're not everywhere. But you know, you get back in these pockets, like the last third of these creeks, and dude, you're getting the right one, and it's game on. That's gonna be a wrap on top water fishing in spring. As you can see, it can be insanely epic. And that's even if you're fishing a predominantly largemouth body of water, 
when they get shallow and that water temp gets just right they get super aggressive it varies depending where you are it's a little cooler up north down here it's a hair warmer in florida it's even warmer uh, we're fishing anywhere from like 62 to 70 degrees what's kind of funny is once it actually kind of really warmed up i think those fish kind of went to the beds and the, and the bite definitely slowed down but let me show you real quick the two baits i was using you're not restricted to these baits like you can use spooks you can use pop bars it really you got to feel out your fishery i like these two because they provided basically kind of like a hard knock heavy cover kind of reaction and that would be the buzz bait once again thank you jacob wheeler nice job you can see it might have been eaten a little bit yeah she kind of she got tore up might need a new skirt but the trick was if i missed a fish on that these fish seem to be looking up so i could follow up with this lucky craft gunfish and this is the smaller version i like the smaller version throwing them both on braid i think the buzz bait is on 40 pound and the the lucky craft is on 30 pound but 721 reels i'm um, loving the new shimano slx they're super solid and they're handling the braid really well you saw those fish really smacked it and we had to drag a few out because they were in like the trees and the cover and that but it was an epic day try some top water fishing get shallow shallow is a relative term here the water's kind of dirty it's come up there's about two foot three foot visibility whereas normally there's like 10 12 so that's kind of dingy water so we were fishing pretty dirt shallow anywhere from like one to maybe four feet at the max the one thing with these spots though is they'll come out of nowhere and actually smash the bait but just kind of keep all those things in your head but get out of top water it is seriously the most fun way next to punching the most fun way to catch them. Bog, you ready to wrap this thing up? You want to say goodbye, Bog? You want to go have dinner? Dinner for Bog? Oh, he's so sweet. You got to lick way too many fish today. Bog enjoyed a lot of fish licking and got super excited because those top water smashes really get him fired up. But we're going to wrap this thing up. Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button. And like I said too, support like somebody who is not going through the best of times right now, whether it's with a bag of baits, whether it's with a pat on the back, a reach out via social media. If you got an old fishing rod, help somebody out, dude. Not only does it help them, it makes you feel good, and it really helps our sport kind of move forward on the right foot. But with that being said, tight lines, guys, we're out. We'll see you back in the bass cave or back out on the beautiful water out here. Later.